Today on Unsolicited, we're going to talk about how to search your famous or favorite Facebook groups, your sewing Facebook groups, um, and find um, information from them. So I think a lot of sewists go into Facebook groups, sewing groups, and things like that, asking questions of the group members when those questions have possibly been asked, asked over and over and over and over and over again. So I'm going to show you a few ways you can, or a few things you can search when you go into these Facebook groups and how to do that. I'm going to keep it brief, but I'm going to um, jump into this right now. My name is Susan, and this is Unsolicited, where we break down fashion one stitch at a time. And I show sewers how to Google like a sewist. And improve their sewing skills now search has to do with your sewing skills because if you can't find it maybe you can't make it <laughs> so i'm going to teach you um to sort of uh improve that area of sewing because i think it is a part of your sewing journey so bear with me and we're going to get into today's uh episode hold on all right so i'm going to take you to um uh, Facebook group. It's the McCall Simplicity Facebook group. And um, I'm going to take you through the process I go through to search the group. So this group is made up of, I don't know now, several thousand members. Doesn't I can't really see that there. Oh, here it is. Let's see how many members are in here right now. 96,000 members. So Uh, on here, there's a lot of information here that ends up right here in the discussion thread. Um, let me see if I can get there. And this discussion thread. So here it is, the thread that pops up every day, every time somebody posts something. Um, if you can see that. Yeah. Every time someone posts something, you're going to see something in this thread. Um, well, how do you make sense of it all? So there's a search that's available to you, the search bar or search box available to you. Now, if you're on your desktop, it's going to be here right alongside all of your tabs for the um, uh, items that are in the group that you can go to, just discussion, featured members, media, files, questions. And over to the right, as you can see, there's a search icon here, which is the, our, the um, magnifying glass. So you'll click on that and it'll pop up your search box. Now I'm gonna talk about about seven things, maybe more that you can do in the, with this search to find content in this group. Again, like I said, with 96,000 members, there is a wealth of information already plugged in here. And for most of us who uh, don't know that, they tend to make a post asking a question about something that's already there or potentially is already there. So let's um, dig into how you can search first, and then if it's not there, ask the group. Um, so the first thing you can search for is a pattern number. Okay, that goes without saying. Um, you can use the hashtag or no hashtag and pull up the pattern number. So I'm gonna pull up Vogue 9022, V9022. As long as you know the pattern, pattern number, you can look up the specific pattern um, in the group. And it'll come up like this. You see uh, at the top, it'll, ask you to um, identify what type of sort you want, posts you've seen, um, most recent posts are posted by. That means that if it's posted by anyone, you or your friends. Uh, let's see. Tag location. Of course, you can um, click on your location, which is the default. Anywhere is also a default. Um, and you can also type in a location. So that is another way to search the group, search a location for members who are in specific areas or information for members in specific areas. So, and below this, let's see if I can show you that. Um, yeah, there it is. This is the thread of responses or results for Vogue 9022. And you'll see typically, I don't know if it sorts the most recent up front. You can do the sort like I showed you before. Um, you can sort it by most recent. But here, 
where you can see all of the posts for that pattern number specifically. Okay. And if anybody had any issue with that pattern, they're most likely to put it in their posts. You can kind of browse through here and see if anyone had any issues. And of course, you can hit up that member to ask questions about their experience with, with that pattern. So that's search number one. So we're going to go back and um, let me get my screen back in control here. Um, um, well, okay. Oh, um, no, I want to read. Oh, there we go. Sorry. All right. So we're going to go in and search for, let's say, if we search for a pattern, that's one thing. But what if we want sort of some insight on that pattern instruction? So let's say they're having problems with, um, let's see, uh, let's say a hem. So you can type in a description of the thing you're having an issue with. You, so, so we can type in him. And you can see that um, Google search sort of pre-fills some information at the bottom there. But if it doesn't relate to your group that you're searching um, in, then you can ignore that and just click enter. And again, the results come up with the sort options. And then below that is the um the results so here someone mentioned hymns in their posts here you can find that or oh i should have been more specific let me go back i can be more specific so if i want to say narrow him so narrow hemming so if anybody in the group again um sorry if anybody in the group again mentioned narrow hems oh okay we don't have to get this better <laughs> so it's like that oh there we go sorry are we back <laughs> okay let me get out all right so now if the group member mentioned anything about a narrow hem it'll show up under this thread and as you can see there's a variety of things here but it's very handy um, having this search bar here you can like i said go right to the issue here's someone that said i've never done a narrow hem and this is some some troubleshooting she needs to have answered um, people you can go in the comments and of course and see how someone is help that person with that issue and go ahead and get your answer yourself if you're looking for it so so the next thing we're going to search for let's see like if say uh, the type of pattern that you're looking for. um maybe someone's looking for an a-line dress or a uh let's say a-line dress let's see if we can have that And first thing pops up, this is, it's an easy A-line dress. Now this only works as far as the search is concerned if um, the users or the members actually type in the information in their descriptions uh, or in the post, okay, somewhere. Now there is another way to search these groups uh, using Google. It's limited though. I won't show you that today, but I will show you that going down the line when we start talking more and more about search. But for this purpose, um, it's an easy way. This um, searching within Facebook is easy as well. So here you can see any results for a line that's in here. You can find that. Okay. And also, like it, I, was, I saw something here. So wrap dress. More of the common things you can put into search um, for this for group searches. More common searches are easy to find here. So you can see wrap dress and see all the sort of uh, posts for that and different options for wrap dresses. Um, so if you were trying to get some ideas on wrap dresses and to find out, okay, what would my, my experience be for making the specific wrap dress, you can ask the person who made the post and say, well, I would like to make something like that. How can you help me with it? You know, 
uh, very useful way to get directly to uh, what you're looking for um, through the search. Now, another way is to, um, for location, let's say if you live in Houston, Texas, and you want to meet up with, or at least know um, of any SOAS in your area, you can type in Houston, Texas, or you can do tag location here. So type it in there. Um, Houston, let me see, type in Houston and it'll come up at the bottom here. And you want to select um, Facebook suggestion there so it can actually um, pull it from the linked uh, locations that have been tagged. So you can see all of the users here that live in Houston, Texas and the projects that they posted. So find your sewing buddy that way. It's pretty cool. Um, and of course, you can also search um, by name if you want to search for a specific user. Uh, you can search them by name. I'll just put mine in there. <laughs> um, it's more than one. Johnson Johnson, I knew that. So I wanted you to see that. So you find the one that you recognize and hit her up, you know. Um, so that's another thing you can do in this group. Um, and also, there was other, another scenario that I saw one time, and I thought, oh, that's a good one for searching. Someone couldn't remember who, uh, so, like someone made a post, right? So, and another person uh, saw it, then forgot about it and wanted to come back to it, but she remembers some details about it, right? Let's just say she remembered that it was a, a, a velvet dress, right? So she can really, and she was typically a person would put in the put a post up saying, "Hey, I'm trying to find the lady who posted the the green velvet dress or whatever velvet dress. Um, couldn't find it again. Can someone help me?" She can literally go in if the person listed velvet dress in their post or anybody in the comments listed it in the post. She can she'll be able to find that, and you'll be able to find that. So I'm going to type in just for. Um, the example velvet dress. Uh, let's see what we get. Again, this 96,000 people, there's bound to be something about a velvet dress in here, right? So you see the Carmen Salome, uh, Salome, I think, uh, made a velvet dress. So I'm just saying if you could remember some of the details of what you were looking for in the uh, group or something that you're looking for in this group. You can just put that minor detail in there and um, you'll be able to search it or find it in um, the group search. So I think that's it. I'm not sure if I got to all seven. I think I did get to all seven things. Oh, one more. And I think that's actually, this would be eight, I believe. So another thing you can do let me show you. Let me get to another thing you can put in is let's say if you're looking for a type of pattern, a pattern piece. So puff sleeve, for example. Um, like I, I did wrap dress, but I'm just thinking specifically a puff sleeve, three-quarter inch sleeve, V-neck. Let's do a V-neck dress. Just for the sake of someone maybe wanting to know how to sew a v-neck maybe excuse me they can um type in v-neck and see what comes up and you'll see very uh, various examples of people working with v-neck garments and that's helpful too i mean literally if you wanted to uh, also get some ideas here's someone looking for um this particular dress right here and i'm going to come back to that in just a second just to do a quick little uh, another tutorial <laughs> for you um but here again we see various examples of v-neck now hmm i was wondering okay it's written here but there's the v-neck dress there it was referenced i was wondering about that one but as you can see that's there so basically the Facebook group um, search is very useful. Um, it is very handy um, for you and can, you know, provide a, a way to just 
navigate all the business that goes on in Facebook groups without having to um, make a post and then wait for responses that may or may not help you. Um, so you can just go out there and grab it yourself. Now, I wanted to do one other type of search you can do from these groups. And that is a Google Lens search. And I'm going to do it briefly. Um, and hopefully um, I won't confuse you. <laughs> Let's just say, um, in this case, this woman, she fell in love with this dress and she was she was looking at an I saw it in the, in the department store website and she wanted to Franken style or, <laughs> or I guess pattern hack this particular dress. Very simple dress to do, but let's see what we get. Um, if it's now, let's just say now we did V neck. I'm just actually adding to this. Um, we searched V neck in this um, search. You know, I gave an example of how, how to search the pattern uh, feature or pattern type. So I searched V neck. If the person here had searched V neck, she could possibly find the bodice that would work for her dress. And I would say that would work. Um, this would definitely work right here. Is this a pattern? Let's see. It is. It's Vogue 7325. She could have gone and just put in V-neck and gotten um, the bodice of her dress taken care of. The tiered portion of it is easy as well. It's just rectangle. Um, shapes, but if she didn't know that, she can also find. Well, actually, this dress right here is a good um, match for that. Let's see, McCall's dress, eighty. Well, almost. It's got a little yoke instead, but um, still very helpful if you just do the search first. So, in what she is looking for, she's looking for a pattern. She's looking for a pattern. So now. The other way that I would have uh, suggested that she search is to right click while you're in Facebook on the page in your on your PC or laptop. Um, you can do this on the phone a different way by searching Google Lens, but you'll have to take a picture of the photo first and then uh, put it into Google Lens or Google app. Uh, but I'll show you how to do it on the, the desktop real quick. So I right clicked. I don't know if I have it set up where you can see that yet see let me see don't know if i do hold on i don't know if you can see hmm, probably can't <laughs> so so what happens is and i hate that you can't see because i would probably have to redo this but what happens is you'll get a um drop down menu a pop-up menu really and it, there's a list of things you can do to this image. And one of them is to search the image with Google. So you're going to click on that. And I'm sure you now you can see the Google Lens pop up on the right. Let me see. I don't know if you can or not. Let me see. No, you can't. OK, so let me figure out how to let you see that part. How do I do that? Hmm. Okay, one second. Let me change my screen. I'm gonna have to share my screen with you. Um, okay, so hold on. I'm gonna have to share the whole screen, the whole window. All right, so let's go and do that. Okay, so you're gonna see my backstage here. So here, now you should, yeah, you should be able to see everything. All right, so let me go back and show you again. Okay, I don't wanna. So even though you can see this over to the right, I'm gonna show you again. If I can get to it, where is it? Oh, oh wait a minute. Okay. Okay, I hope you can see that. Let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So, well, I don't see the dress. Oh, there it is. It's down here. Uh, kick my little thing out. There we go. So, I don't know why I can't get that out of the way. Let me see. Let me see if I can close this real quick. Okay. Can't close it. All right. So if I right click, you can see the drop up, the, the menu. <laughs> so um, if we go hit search with Google, and this is going to pull the dress back in. Okay. Okay. So let me give it a second. All right. So now it's what it's going to do. It's going to pull up any image that it can find that looks like that. So we can purchase it from several locations here. Um, right now it's on sale at Belk for $19.90. Um, I would have bought it versus making it. But the lady wants to make it. <laughs> I don't know if she did. But so what we do from this point to find a pattern. Now, it's it typically won't show a pattern. What Google does initially, they think you want to find the exact dress um, and purchase it. Okay, um, that's their first and uh, first mission is to sell things to you. So that's what they're going to do. So we're going to go to find source, which is above the photo, to search a little bit further and a little bit deeper here and let me show you what happens no if you can see in the google search bar or menu here well bar here you see a little tiny photo of that dress right now i want you to pay attention to down below where it says visually similar images it's also still looking at the color maybe the shape maybe the looseness of it not being exact because google is still a little bit confused as to what i want so i have the option to tell google i want a sewing pattern for this dress so let's see if it can understand um sewing pattern <laughs> look at my all my searches so i'm going to type in sewing pattern And Google sees the photo and it sees sewing pattern. So hopefully it makes the connection between the two and it shows me sewing patterns here in the images results that look like that dress. So let's see how good it got here. I may have to get a little bit more detail, but we'll see. So what I did was click on visually similar images and this is what it gave me. And as you can see, the, the results come from pattern companies, hopefully. Just Patterns is a pattern company. Etsy, of course, has patterns in stock, and then it references pattern here. So it doesn't really give me the results I want. Now, some of this is advertisements, just so you know, um, which may or might not be right. Now, this seam work dress, I think we're close to it. So Google gave us a typically a good result here. So let's click on that one and see what we got. We can visit. This is from Seamwork, um, a trusted website for sewists. Um, and this is called the Benning Dress. It has the Empire Waist. It has the, um, the ruffle tier here. And this is an easy alteration that the young lady can do to this dress to make that blue dress. Mm. Let me get out of that. So here, short sleeves can be modified to make the puff sleeve, or she can search, find a, a pattern with puff sleeves and it just switch it out. Okay, so I think that's a close result um, for her search. What do you think, guys? Uh, if you can see that, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So here, that's just one result, though. There may be more. Now, I, if I'm going to continue to search and try to find a tiered dress like this, I need more detail up here, but I'm not going to put it here. And this is one thing about Google. It's still, I, I would say, still in beta stage when it comes to searching images um, specifically, okay? Uh, because they are, they are constantly testing this and uh, sometimes I see features come and go. So I'm going to go back to my original 
search result when that little photo was there. See right there in the corner. So now I have sewing pattern. I'm going to say, I'm going to say V-neck, add some more details. I'm going to say um, three tier. That may be too much, but we'll see. I'm describing what I see. Now, if you don't know about pattern descriptions or garment descriptions, you could have gone back to the original photo here over to the right and go to the listing for the retail um, and see how they described it. It says women's puff sleeve ruffle V and it continues on. You can put that description in here too, but most likely you're going to get this. But with sewing pattern added, it potentially could give you what you want. And this is what's happened here. Um, and now we're seeing a tiered dress over here. Let me go to the images so you can see them. I need to. Not. All right. So again this is ads up here these are advertisements if they're marked as ads this whole row left to right are advertisements if it matches your search though you can go ahead and click in there but if not keep scrolling and you'll continue to till you find something that's like the dress you're looking for i was coming down to this one right here this simplicity 92 um 65 looks like a good match So for that blue dress, I think this one probably would be a hit. It has the tears at least. And it does not necessarily have that. Well, there's the bodice right there in view C. Looks like it. That very well. It's very close to the other one too. So, so it goes to show you that it's likely that the young lady could find her pattern. She just needed to do a few um, um searches to get to it but it's it's probably there or any combination of patterns she could have put together to make that um that dress so that is the final um search tip i'm giving tonight um let me come back over here so you can see me if i can get it Okay, let me get let me get to it. Uh -oh. If I can get to my window, I'll talk to you. All right. All right, we're back. <laughs> okay, um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I want to invite you to just follow my page here with Unsolicited. And I'm going to have um, content just about sewing. And I would say this is like the back end of sewing <laughs> stuff that people are curious about, but they may not have an avenue in which to talk or discuss it. Um, I talk about, again, searching for patterns, searching for sewing content or information on the Internet, and how to do that, how to do that well. Um, because um, I think most sewers entering, in, entering into um, sewing garments. Um, aren't familiar with the different um, content creators out there, sewists out there who are making a, a huge library of information for us so as to learn from. So I'm here to point it out to you. All right, so that and I love um, pattern hacking. If you want to be an expert in pattern hacking <laughs> or at least get better than what you are now then i'm here to help you with that um i enjoy doing that and as well as teaching you how to um, um navigate made to measure patterns now i do have some videos on that check them out i hope you will watch but until next time um that's it for unsolicited my name is susan and this is unsolicited where we break down fashion one stitch at a time every week on tuesday uh taylor made thursdays excuse me from 7 30 p.m till um until uh or 8 30 eastern and i uh, hope you'll join me next week thank you <laughs>